Who could have guessed Disneyland was hiding so many secrets? From underground labyrinths to false flags and hidden suites, this land of fantasy has much more lying out of sight than you know. Everyone thinks it is this magical place where nothing could go wrong. But is that really true, or is it all just a performance? Join us today as we look at the most well-kept secrets of Disneyland that you probably don't know of. Let's dive right in with the first Disney secret that is hiding in plain sight. Number one, the fake flags. The American flags are propped up in many locations throughout the Disney parks. At first glance, they may look fine, but have you ever taken a closer look? They are all wrong in their designs. Some of them are missing a star while others do not have all the stripes. But here's the funny bit. It is all planned. The wrong design is not some dumb mistake or a risky management fault so you can stop cooking a conspiracy theory. The flags are kept that way, so the childlike magical spirit of the parks can prevail. If the flag stood up straight with its proud stature, the park would have to abide by the laws of being an American flag. But since it is a palace of dreams where playing dress up is legal for all ages, the flag does not have to signal half-mast on special occasions. Number two, secret tunnels down below. To keep the magic alive, Disney Park has a secret floor beneath the actual park. This floor hosts a series of underground tunnels hidden far from the actual show running on the streets. You can think of it as the red curtain in theater that masks the actors from the viewers. The gigantic system of tunnels is called the Utilidor and connects the different parts of the park in a series of corridors. These are there so the workers trying to manage a fast costume change the princesses that need a break from crying children or the staff that is looking to go to the restroom can all take the secret passage down the utilidor. This web of tunnels also has a cafeteria to boost the energy of the actors. You haven't ever seen a character frowning at the park, have you? It is not because of their whimsical nature, but the secret tunnels that are there to give them a deserving break. The interesting part is that the tunnels have color-coded compounds, so the cast members know where to go if they get lost underground. After all, you wouldn't want Goofy to be sitting uninvited with the Seven Dwarves. Number three, the Disney Jail. The Disney Park is no lawless place. It has some strict rules for all the visitors. You can find them written at different locations in the park and even on their website. If a person or a group of people do not abide by those rules, they find themselves being taken to the Disney jail. Yes, it is real, but the jail isn't anything like the Disney park itself. There isn't a Woody with his gun pointed at the prisoner or a scary Ursula trying to trap you down with her spells. The jail is pretty boring. A small empty room with a couple of chairs stacked in the corner. It is basically a temporary holding area for the lawbreakers. If you are a minor, an unwanted call will be made to the parents. If you have made a small disturbance, you might be getting removed from the park for a day or more. This puts the officers through a few basic hours of paperwork. However, if you are part of a bigger offense, the security puts you in Disney jail until the authorities arrive to pick you up. So, your sentence and your time at the Disney jail depends on how badly you have wronged the Disney law. Here is an interesting rule at Disney Park, and breaking it would put you in Disney jail you cannot speak or use offensive gestures. So, if you're having a bad day, do not take it out at the park. Number four, what goes on behind curtains? Disney has a series of friendships that are wholesome, but not likely to exist in the real world. The creators like to highlight these friendships and show them in perfect harmony. But that is not the case with the actors that dress up as those characters. Workers say that the Disney Park break room is much like the high school cafeteria. The new princesses tend to act as the cooler ones in front of the old princesses, as if it is some sort of competition. Offstage, there isn't as much magic in Disneyland as you would expect. Number five, do not speak. Want to know the strangest Disney secret you may have noticed during your visit? Turns out, there is a strict rule for the characters. They cannot speak when they are in front of the guests. So as long as you are in a costume and out in the park, you are sworn to the promise of silence. You can utter your first word for the day when you are behind the stage or down in the utilidor, but not in front of the visitors. They let the guests know that Mickey cannot speak today. But what you don't know 
is that it is basically for every day. Now, there are some exceptions, of course. The human characters like Bella, Cinderella, and the other such princesses can all have a conversation with you. But if you are expecting the same from the ones in the costumes, you are not in for a good surprise. This is mainly because the costumes like Mickey and the gang have an animated voice that the humans cannot replicate. You might hear Goofy laughing, but that is about the extent of it. Number 6. Sign Away This may come as a surprise, but each character at Disneyland is given their own unique signature. And what's more, you can have them sign it for you. Whether it is your favorite pair of chipmunks, Chip and Dale, a paw print by Doug from the UP movie, or a signed autograph from the famous couple, Woody and Jesse, the options are endless. You'll have to take a big chunk of your day and spend it in a queue lined up at the meet and greets. But if you're coming to Disneyland, the thought of standing in lines is pretty much standard. Another thing you can do is buy the autographs from the gift shops. A lot of the signatures are already printed on souvenirs, saving you the time from standing in a long line of impatient kids. Number 7. False Tree of Life You might have seen the Tree of Life at the Animal Kingdom. It is one of the most famous attractions at the park, and it is not real. Its massive structure and the leaves blowing in the wind might give you the illusion that it is a real tree, but we are about to burst your bubble. The whole structure is man-made. It has over 8,000 branches of different sizes and about 102,000 artificial leaves. The amazing thing is that each leaf was individually placed on the tree, so they can blow with the wind like real leaves. While you are out admiring the Tree of Life, you can catch over 300 carvings hidden in the tree. From animals as big as a killer whale to the smaller ones like a beetle, you will have a fun time spotting all the carvings. But there aren't just animals carved into the bark. Instead, you might even spot a Mickey upside down carved on the tree or an extinct animal you never got the chance to see. So even if the tree is fake, its perfect construction will bring you back for a look again and again. Number 8. The Oldest Tree in the Park You heard about the Tree of Life, but there is a tree that is much more sacred, the Liberty Oak Tree. Located in the Magic Kingdom, it is over 140 years old. But where did it come from? Let's go all the way back to the Disney founder's residence. At Walt Disney's property, there was a Quercus Virginiana tree growing. When Disneyland was built, it was decided that this tree would be relocated to the park to mark the significance of its origin. So, the movers got to work and transported the tree from the family property eight miles away to the center of Liberty Square. Since it weighed around 38 tons at the time, it wasn't an easy job. It is not like the Hulk was there to move it from one place to another. So the movers put special steel rods down its trunk and called a massive crane to lift the tree up unharmed. Through precise and very careful transportation, the tree was moved to its new home and is now the heart of the park. It healed from its wounds due to the steel rods and now serves as an icon and a big shade for visitors. Number 9. The Hidden Mickeys Hiding in Disneyland are some interesting figures. Yup, a ton of hidden Mickeys. Spotting the hidden Mickeys is one of the favorite jobs for the curious hats. There are supposedly over a thousand Mickeys hidden either in plain sight or disguised in the sneakiest of places. It is your job to track down the hidden treasure. But here is the interesting tidbit. The hidden Mickeys started off as an inside joke. The Imagineers started putting Mickeys faces in the Disney movies, hiding them from the audience to find. They were kind of like Easter eggs. When people started noticing, they turned it into an exciting adventure for both adults and kids by putting Mickey's faces in all shapes and sizes all around the park. Number 10. No bathrooms? Disney World is all about the details. If you go to Liberty Square, you won't find a single bathroom. This is because the creators wanted the place to be historically accurate, and it would not be right to fit a modern bathroom in a place designed according to the colonial days. So, if you do feel the urgency to go to a restroom, you will have to find one at the back of the restaurants much farther away from this land. So technically, they are in another land, marking Liberty Square as a historically accurate site. 
Number 11. The trash is magical too. If there is one thing to take out of Disney parks, it is the incredible sense of discipline. All the restaurants above the underground tunnels have a special tube system designed for taking the trash. All of these tubes come down to connect and make up the automatic vacuum-assisted collection system. This way, the park hides the trash at a central location without ruining the magical experience of the visitors of Disneyland. If you do go upstairs, you will find a trash can after every 30 steps in the park. You might even find a talking one. They are strategically placed so the park is never littered with unnecessary garbage lying around. An interesting fact is that even the trash cans fit a theme. They are designed such that they have merchandise after them, which you can find at gift shops. Number 12. The Perfect Castle If you want to get a good picture at Disneyland, then getting one at Cinderella's Castle is your best bet. Its architecture calls out for a perfect picture. There is possibly nothing that could go wrong, and that is no coincidence. This picture-perfect building is designed to be this way. The castle is designed facing south. It stands tall and does not allow the other buildings to cast a shadow near the castle either. So, what you are looking at is a good picture from every angle, and the lighting is placed so it is always perfect from nearly any angle. Number 13. Ever seen a plane? Here is an interesting fact that you might not have noticed before. You rarely see an airplane disrupting the peace overhead in Disneyland. You will never see aeroplanes flying above the park because both the parks in the US have a no-fly zone. And the surprising thing is that this law is permanently valid. This is a great way for the management to reduce noise pollution and keep the visitors busy in their magical spirit. Number 14. Never say, don't know. The human cast at Disney can talk with visitors, but there is one sentence they absolutely are never allowed to say. The forbidden sentence is not some curse word. Instead, it is a simple, I don't know. The characters must make up a fanciful answer to any question the kids bombarded them with, but they cannot simply deny giving an answer. Now that's a tough job for a princess. The reason behind this idea is quite interesting. The creators believe that the park stages a fantastical performance. If the cast members simply deny giving an answer, then the story does not move forward. So the staff has to engage in keeping the silly vibe running if they want to keep their jobs. Number 15. Special scents and hidden ducts. Have you ever been to Disneyland and smelled something foul? No, right? This is because you possibly cannot have your nose be bothered by a sickening smell and Disney works hard to keep it that way. The management has a special system installed within the park that has hidden vents lodged at various locations. Then, they use a special device called the smellitizers. When no one's looking, they pump delightful scents throughout the park so that everyone can stay happy and whimsical. It is almost like a Disney tale, where the workers go alive by night and keep you in a cheery state all throughout your visit. This is why, when you go to the Pirate of the Caribbean land, you will get a small whiff of the gunpowder smell. Similarly, Main Street has the wafting aroma of vanilla, baked goods and popcorn. Splash Mountain has a musky water scent, and even the spa has a fragrant combination of clover and green aloe. All this keeps you immersed and happy as you stroll around Disney Park. Neat, isn't it? Number 16. Color-coded sidewalks. Now this secret is hidden in plain sight and only the sharpest tools ever figure it out. The whole park is bright and visually appealing, but let's specifically talk about the sidewalks. They have not left a single crumb out of sight. The sidewalks lining up in different lands all have secret messages. Some of them are colored according to the land they are in, while others have patterns that represent something cool. For example, the main street has a red brick sidewalk. It is designed that way for the pictures to be visually appealing. The contrast of the red and garden was skillfully placed by the Kodak researchers who came to help design the park. Have you seen the wavy brown patterns at Liberty Square? It is to be historically accurate too. The wastewater used to run like this in the colonial era. Number 17. The Hidden Cinderella Suite if you want an exclusive stay inside the Cinderella Castle, you need to get a special invite. The suite inside the castle was built in the early days to accommodate Walt and his family. 
but the co-founder died before he could enjoy the perks of this suite. So the suite now provides stay to only a selected group of lucky people. Here is what it looks like from the inside. There are a bunch of rooms for a whole family. Each of the rooms has a jacuzzi tub for relaxing after roaming around the park all day. The 17th century furniture and the Cinderella mosaic floor, made with 24 karat gold, give the whole place a vintage elite vibe. But the best part is the clock that is permanently stopped at 11.59. The entrance is so exclusive that you cannot even book a room there. You need to get an invite to get crowned with all of these royal perks. Number 18. Reused Rides If you get deja vu in any of the recent rides in Disneyland, it is probably because you have been on that ride before. Disney has a sneaky way of recreating old rides in the newer fancy replacements. Be it the animatronics, the flashy audios or the vehicles themselves, the park tries to save the money they spend on intricate details by recycling old rides. In some cases, even the ride experience is the same with a few minor alterations here and there. Number 19. A curious building design. There is so much work and effort that goes into making Disneyland as majestic as it is, and a lot of it is hidden in plain sight. One of those illusions is at full display in the popular buildings inside the park. Whether it is the Cinderella Castle or the Beast's Castle, you will find that they are not as tall as they appear to be. The architects have designed the buildings such that they stand taller than usual. The bricks of the Cinderella Castle are not even the same size. If you take a deeper look downwards to the upwards of the castle, the bricks at the lower end are smaller than the ones at the top. This scaling of size and structure makes the visitors think they are at the Disney version of Burj Khalifa. Number 20. The workers have a code language. Many of the staff who work at the Disney parks cannot speak in front of the visitors, so they have a special coded language in which they communicate if the need arises. This is for emergencies like a ride getting stuck or a kid getting lost. But there are a bunch of funny ones too. If a kid has urinated in the park, the cast members let each other know of the accident by calling out code P. Similarly, code V is for vomit. That one happens quite a lot if you have eaten too much before Splash Mountain. Number 21, meal with the characters. If you didn't already know, the park hosts an incredible meal with the characters if you want to have a whimsical dining experience. Whether it be Elsa, with whom you can share an icy drink, or Goofy to help you share a Sunday, the best character dining experiences are all at the park. The bad thing is that not every character in the Disney list will be available to give you company. The selected characters are spread out at multiple locations in the park and you can make a reservation with them. Some of the characters are outside the theme park and you don't even have to pay the entrance fee for the special meet and greet. The chef Mickey's in the Contemporary Hotel and the four Orlando Hotel hosts Mickey and his gang, while the Ohana character meals have special appearances from Lilo and Stitch. Number 22. The Exclusive VIP Club The exclusive suite at Cinderella's Castle is not up for grabs, but the VIP club at the park is something you too can enjoy. The VIP lounge is called Club 33 and is found at four separate locations. The annual fee for the club is a whopping $16,000 per year, but it isn't as easy as getting your checkbook out to pay the price. There is a long waiting line that only lets a few people join after every few months. The perks of the club might make it worth the wait for many people though. From elevated dining at the parks with a non-crowded view to tickets and tours, you can get them all. Plus, there is private access to the comfy couches to give your aching back a sweet respite. The locations of the club include the American Adventure in Epcot Theme Park, Magic Kingdoms Club in Adventureland. Another one is on the second floor of the Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant, and the last one is the Harambe House at the Animal Kingdom. You will get an interesting sneak peek into Walt's life in all four of these locations. 
That concludes our list of the incredibly exciting and plainly hidden secrets of the Disney parks. How many of them did you know? Are you excited to discover one on your next trip? Let us know in the comments below. If we missed out on something, do speak it out. While you are at it, make sure you hit the like button and press the subscribe icon for more thrilling videos like this. Until then, hold on to that magical spirit and pass the cheer torch ahead.